So I decided to major in Chinese language because I actually have a great passion for Chinese. So when I was young, I took up performing arts related to Chinese culture such as Chinese dance and speech and drama. So through the different exposure, it actually grew my appreciation for Chinese culture and tradition. And I also took higher Chinese in primary and secondary school. So I thought of majoring in Chinese language in NUS so that I could actually gain a better understanding of the language and to increase my overall bilingual proficiency and to communicate with others effectively. Mm, I think I'm particularly interested in how the language works overall such as the aspects of grammar or reading and writing in Chinese. So these different modules I actually took in NUS, they actually teach me how to use the language um, in a more effective manner to actually communicate with my readers through writing or um, the written or the spoken form actually. Yeah. Um, I would say I prioritize quality over quantity. So I make sure that I actually time manage and plan my schedule very well to actually avoid like issues like procrastination or over commitment so that I major to actually channel my focus and attention to the certain modules that I'm actually taking within that semester so that I could give my best and deliver the maximum potential. Um, because I'm an, on an SPH journalism scholarship so after graduation I'll be actually working with the Chinese media group as a journalist. So in that the field of work, journalism to me is rather interesting and special because I'm actually able to leverage on my passion for language to actually write effective stories and articles to communicate with my readers and to allow them to actually be more aware of the certain changes and the current affairs and news. So through the different stories, I'm actually able to contribute meaningfully and to actually contribute to society too. I would say because it's about writing. So in order to produce a good article, we actually have to write in consistency and to write according to like a language type that's actually fluent and easily readable and understandable by our readers of different age groups, different backgrounds and different types too. So within the Chinese modules I actually took in NUS, it, teach, it teaches me actually how to analyzed and the dissect the cultural semantics and also the different types of typologies that's related to the text itself. So for example, for certain, type of, certain groups of people, you know, it would be better to actually use this particular kind of phrasing because it's easier for them to understand as compared to other kinds of phrases which is probably more challenging and therefore it highlights the difference between like the written and the spoken form. Um, I think it will probably because um, my second major is actually data studies. So although one is focusing on data and one is focusing on Chinese language. You know, through the two different majors, I'm actually able to combine the different ways of learning and different ideas and to actually synthesize um, alternative ways of learning new knowledges, which is rather applicable to future learning experiences. So it makes the learning actually more impactful and more memorable as well. I would say life in FASS is very enriching. So there's a lot of collaborative opportunities that I get with the different departments. So as an exco member of my NUS Chinese Studies Student Society, I actually had the opportunity to host an online event. So through the experience, I actually learned how to um, plan for an event, making marketing, budgeting, as well as to prep for the technical difficulties that may come out unexpectedly. So because it's an online virtual event, so the kind of preparation that we need um, is actually as tedious as an um, in-person event. Yeah, and apart from this, Opportunity. I think I also had collaborative opportunities with CFG where I participated in their 3D production shoot and through that shoot I actually learned about the resources available for NUS students to actually increase our employability. So I feel that the overall experience was very meaningful to me because I'm able to use my passions to contribute for a meaningful cause and to also inspire my juniors and peers around me to actually lead an enriching life too.